Hey, what's up? So I'm gonna make some spaghetti squash tonight for dinner, and uh, over the top of that, I'm gonna put some tomato sauce, which I'm going to make myself also. So for the tomato sauce, I'll get to the uh, squash later, but I'm gonna chop up these tomatoes, some garlic. Uh, I put jalapeno in just about everything I can, so that's going in there too. Uh, I have some mushrooms. These were already pre-chopped from the stove. And I don't know why I said it like that. And I'm gonna chop probably this whole onion and throw it in there because thug life. And then I'm gonna throw in these bay leaves and this uh, rosemary. I'm probably gonna chop up this oregano and put that in too. So I ran out of um, olive oil. So I'm gonna use avocado oil. We'll see how that goes. I've never used it for a tomato sauce, but I'm sure it'll be great. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like a quarter cup of that and I'll show all that happening. And then about two tablespoons of tomato paste. And then I'll add in some basil, ground black pepper, and a little bit of salt to taste. And that's that. And then once that's all going, um, once I get that cooked, it'll have to simmer for about an hour. And while that's happening, I will take this squash and then prep and uh, start baking that. So yeah, and then while that's all going, the sauce is cooking and the uh, squash is baking, I will do the meat. That's it, all right, I'll get right back. I'm gonna chop this up and then I'll show you the next step, all right. Okay, so chopped a bunch of stuff and there we go. So rough chops on the garlic, jalapeno, onion. Obviously the mushrooms are pretty big. These aren't, I'm not gonna chop up. I'm gonna take these out um, before I eat, and then I kind of finally chop the oregano. So I'm gonna wait on the tomatoes until uh, this cooks down a bit, and yeah, so I'm gonna add the avocado oil. I'm gonna do about a quarter cup, and uh, then I'm gonna put it in the pan, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh my God. All right, there's a pot in the way. I, uh, obviously I rehearsed this, Okay, so here's my avocado oil. Let's do. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. But whatever, you're gonna watch. It's gonna be amazing. It's the greatest tomato sauce video of your life. Alright, so there's about a quarter of a cup. And now let's go. Pour it in this pot over medium heat. Okay, and I'm gonna add um, everything that I chopped up. And yeah, except for the tomatoes, obviously, which I didn't chop up. All right, so I'm bringing this. It's exciting. All right, so I'm gonna add all this in here and uh, let's see how that goes. So I'm gonna add these onions. Ooh. So exciting. All right, I'm gonna add these jalapenos. this oregano, mushrooms, and garlic, and then I'm going to throw in this bay leaf and rosemary and I'm gonna stir this um, not like non-stop but I'm gonna stir it every once in a while for about 10 minutes uh, the onions will break down a bit and then I'm gonna add the tomatoes and paste and all that I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on this as well all right okay so 
This is amazing, it smells delicious. I wanna bathe in it. Don't judge me, I'm an adult. I can do what the fuck I want. All right, so we're gonna add this tomato paste. This tomato paste. Uh, about two tablespoons. So this has been cooking for about two minutes, or 10 minutes, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna add this tomato paste and cook for another uh, five minutes or so. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna chop and add those tomatoes. Okay, so one. Two. Okay, so I'm gonna stir that um, for the next five minutes, and then I'll get back to you. Peace. Okay, so added the tomato paste while that was cooking. I chopped up these tomatoes. It took about five minutes, which is exactly how long I needed to cook that. And there's those tomatoes. These are like five Roma tomatoes. I don't know if that's too much or too little. I don't care either. I'm just gonna throw it in there and then uh, put it in my face. So while I was doing that, um, I preheated preheated my oven to 375 for this. So I'm gonna uh, stab this with a knife, cut it in half, and I will show all that in a second too. So I'm gonna add these tomatoes, and then uh, what I'm gonna do is, well, I'll show you too, but I'll tell you also. What I'm gonna do is add the tomatoes and then stir constantly until it starts to boil. I'm gonna bring that uh, heat down to low and let it simmer for like an hour. All right, peace. Okay, so the tomatoes are in and I'm stirring these delicious things together. It's exciting, right? It's like how a bill becomes a law or something. So like I said, I'm gonna keep doing this, um, and then it'll start to boil eventually. And then I'm gonna bring it to a low heat, and let it simmer for an hour. And while that is happening, um, I will then uh, chop up that squash and get that started. And that's super easy. And then while the squash is baking and the sauce is cooking, uh, I'm going to cook up some meat because I love meat and uh, you know, that's just how I roll. I'm going to do that and then, so I'll cook the meat and set it aside because that won't take very long at all. And then while that's happening, the meat will be done, the sauce will be cooking, the squash will be baking, I'm probably going to stretch. And, uh, I don't know, I don't know, do whatever I want, because, you know, I'm a grown-up, and that's what I could do. Jesus, bye. Okay, so that is basically done, it's starting to boil. Um, I added a tiny bit of water, because, I don't know, I was impatient and it looked too thick. Now it's, it looks a little too thin. We'll see, it's got a long time to cook, so it'll thicken up and a lot of that water will go away. Another thing is I, it's a quarter cup of oil, but I went a little, I did a little bit of a heavy pour for that quarter cup, so in the future I would do a little under, because I like things less oily. And uh, yeah, but here it is. So, obviously it's starting to boil. It smells fucking good. Um, so I'm gonna turn this down. And I'm gonna let that simmer for about an hour. And now I'm gonna show you me cutting a squash. Okay, so I'm going to cut it from head to tail. Uh, and then I'm gonna coat the pan with uh, olive oil. You can use a spray oil too, that's fine. I don't coat it first because I'm cutting it on here and I don't want it slipping around and I chop my finger off. I need my fingers to do things. So. Don't laugh at my cutting technique. I only cut people, all right? I don't cut vegetables a lot. That's not true, I cut vegetables all the time. So, I'm going to, oh Jesus, it's already slippery. Whatever. Oh my God, it's so hard. What did I do? It is crazy hard. Judge me. What's the problem with 
dull knives, man. You just I can't get a whole lot done. Alright. I'm gonna leave all this in too, fuck it. You guys can see my struggle. Okay. That was not exciting. So when you open it up, you're gonna see all these seeds. I'm gonna scrape them bitches out and uh, hold on. This is a spoon. I'm gonna use it to do what I just said. throw these seeds away because I don't know what to do with them. I'm sure there's something. People eat squash seeds, like pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Or is there like racism against squash seeds? Pumpkins are like, no, nah, fuck that. Me and sunflowers got the lock on this shit. I'm trying to like make squashes have to show their passports and IDs everywhere. It's fucked up. All right, so now I'm gonna coat that squash in the pan and some oil. Again, I ran out of olive oil, so I'm using avocado oil, which I've never done for this, so we'll see how that goes. Don't you like all this really prepared video making I'm doing? I'm not even gonna edit this shit out. Fuck it. I'm so edgy. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit here. Okay. And I'm just gonna use my hands because I'm a heathen. Oh, God, good, good, that's it. That's a good pan. All right, that was creepy. And I'm going to drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. That's too much. And I'm gonna do the same thing for here. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Now, I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on this. Sauce is still cooking. I go heavy on pepper. I just really like pepper, man. Don't, uh, don't get in my face about it. If you don't like pepper, honestly, there's something wrong with you. I said it. I'll say it again too. If you don't like pepper, there's something wrong with you. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt. This is that pink Himalayan salt. But I'm breaking all the rules. How's that guy do it? That idiot? Something like that? Screw that guy. All right. So that's all done. Now I'm gonna put these face down like cut side down and I'm gonna stick it in that oven where it'll cook for about four 35 45 minutes and uh, then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna scrape it and make the spaghetti I don't think I need to show you how it goes in the oven yeah bye okay so the Squash is in there, the sauce is in there, and the meat's cooking here. I'm a big believer of cooking meat uh, low heat, 
over a longer period of time. I just think it's better. And uh, yeah, you can't tell me any different. I mean, you can. I just won't listen to you or believe you. So I'm gonna cook up this meat and then set it aside. And because that'll go, I'll just keep it warm. Um, but then my timing is probably really off on that. I should probably cook the meat later. Fuck. I should cook the meat later. Well, I'm gonna cook it now. And uh, yeah, that's that. So after I cook this meat, I don't really have anything else to do. I'm gonna do those dishes over there and stretch and uh, I don't know, fuck around on the internet or something. Yeah, all right, bye. Okay, so I'm gonna take the squash out and then I'll show you the meat and the sauce. And yeah. Awesome, super good. So obviously, that is too fucking hot to touch. Like me, what's up? So uh, I'm gonna let that cool for a few minutes and then test out my iron palm on that and see if I can uh, hold it long enough to scrape the inside and I'll show you me doing that too. So here's the meat and it'll actually be just fine. Mm -hmm. and there's that sauce. It tastes really good. So yeah, um, I'm gonna keep letting that sauce do its thing for as long as this takes, and then I'll scrape that and I'll show that. It's almost time to eat. It's time. You ready? Yep. So, I'm gonna flip those over, and I'll show you what they look like. They look good. What they look like they look like good okay so it's fairly simple let me see if i can change the angle on there for you set this on here oh look at that all right this is gonna be too hot for me but i'm just gonna do it anyway because i'm impatient so you're gonna take nice long woo, strands like that and just scrape Hot. You get it. Yeah, you're with me. Okay, so you're gonna scrape all that out. Put it somewhere. Do it to both. Check right back with you. Okay, so there's one down. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. And again, just try to make long ones. Um, unless you like short, short spaghetti. Do whatever you want. Oh man, it's hot. Man, it's hot. I'm impatient as fuck. See how that works? Simple. So you just scrape it out. Yeah, just do that. Keep doing that. Okay, that's all done. That's a lot of spaghetti squash. There's the dead bodies. Dead bodies. Here's my sauce. Oh my god. Here's that meat. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn that temperature down. That's for starters. I'm gonna take this spaghetti and I'm gonna put a whack of it in this bowl. See? That's a whack, that is one whack. Then, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna set that right now, or right now. And, I'm gonna take some of this meat, meat, and do some of that. I'm gonna do even a little more. Oh, are you seeing that, you see it? Okay, then, I am going to take, make sure I'm not getting that oregano. I'm gonna take this sauce. Oh, baby. I'm gonna do that again, cause I'm just a saucy motherfucker. Jesus, would you look at that fuck? God, that looks good, woo! I'm very excited, I haven't eaten today. 
It's been very busy. I have like banana and uh, some almonds. So I guess I'm a liar. All right, final step, very important. Shredded Parmesan and Romano cheese. Bam. See? So all in all, this, I think it's gonna turn out really well. Um, if I were to do it next, or when I do it next time, I will do less oil, because it does look a little too oily for me. But um, other than that, everything else looks pretty damn good. So I probably didn't need to add the water either. Uh, that was like a rookie mistake, but uh, you know, whatever. Hashtag funky butt loving. So let's try this real quick. You ready? I'm gonna do it. Oh, come on, man. Little fuck out of the good. Oh, baby. Bye.